What's up, everybody? A little birdie out there told me that there might be some PMNR superstars out there hungry for a new board review video. Well, I'm just the man to do it, Dr. Bruno Subarau, the Physiotron 3000, your AOC PMNR Fellowship Chair. And it's time for the bonus round. Bonus question. You were performing a nerve conduction study on a 64-year-old male for right arm radicular pain. You would like to test his upper extremity H reflex. Which nerve root could be tested in this manner? Well, is it C7, 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 or C7 or C7? I don't want you guys to confuse yourself with any other answer. Just please remember, H reflex can be tested on S1 and, of course, C7. And so we all know the story. After Dr. Hoffman shocked some poor sap, med student was like, what the H is that reflex? How the F wave am I supposed to know? Let's quickly discuss some of the other major testable points on the H reflex. Of course, the C7 nerve root is going to correspond to testing of the flexor carpi radialis, the FCR muscle. This, of course, is innervated by the median nerve. Now, in the lower extremity, the tibial nerve is what feeds the soleus muscle, which corresponds to the S1 reflex. Another important consideration is that this is an orthodromic stimulus in that it travels with the fibers. It travels with the sensory fibers to the spinal cord and with the motor fibers away from the spinal cord to the recording electrode. Lastly, remember that this is in contrast to the F wave, which is a supermaximal stimulus. The H reflex is submaximal. H reflex is submaximal. Remember that. So I'm sure I'm speaking for all of you when I say, of course, we love the H reflex. Well, except that we only use it to test S1 and C7. And, uh, once it's abnormal, it's always abnormal, so you can't really tell if the lesion is acute or chronic, and of course it's a long neural pathway, so you can't really tell any specific site of injury, and if there is a focal lesion, well, it'll be diluted, and sometimes it's normal and incomplete lesions. But apart from all that, good job, Dr. Hoffman. Guys, thank you for sticking through this short bonus video, but there'll be more to come soon, I promise. In the meantime, visit us at www.aocpmnr.org. Subscribe to these videos so that you'll be up to date when the new ones do come out. And I will see you soon.